From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. I'm Ann Gownley. Two Tamaqua men were arrested on Monday and charged with Mahanoy City burglary. 29-year-old Rashawn Charles Gass and 30-year-old John Lewis Heath Manneth were the third are charged with a break-in at a home in the 800 block of East Mahanoy Avenue. They are accused of stealing a cell phone. Tamaqua police stopped them for a traffic violation and detained them until Mahanoy police arrived. They're charged with burglary and criminal trespass, both felonies and several related counts. Both men are in county prison in lieu of $50,000 bail. There was a brief standoff in Palo Alto near Pottsville this morning. It started around 7.45 a.m. in the 600 block of West Bacon Street. There aren't a lot of details, but state police surrounded a home where a man was allegedly holding people against their will. Inside, neighbors say a man was threatening to kill people with a knife. After around 45 minutes, police had the man in custody. State police said no one was injured. State police in Pennsylvania issued a holiday crash report. 328 people were arrested for, by troopers for driving under the influence during the three-day New Year's holiday from December 30th through January 1st. That's an increase from last year's 309 DUI arrests. State police investigated 595 crashes, and of those, 48 involved alcohol, 113 people were injured, and four people were killed. That number also increased from 458 from last year. 4,511 speeding tickets, 356 seatbelt citations, and 49 child safety seat citations were given out. These numbers only reflect incidents investigated by the Pennsylvania State Police. It does not include those investigated by local law enforcement agencies. The winner of a winning $225,000 cash five ticket that was sold at the Ashland Boyers has yet to come forward. The ticket matched all five balls drawn during Thursday's drawing, 9, 16, 28, 34, and 35. Boyers received $500 for the winning ticket. Claims can be turned into lottery headquarters Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The winner has one year to claim their ticket. Winning tickets are subject to 25% federal withholding taxes and 3.07% state taxes for winning more than $5,000. Once again, there's talk of merging the three big transit agencies in northeastern Pennsylvania, the County of Lackawanna Transit System, the Luzerne County Transit Authority, and Hazleton Public Transit. An attempt to do so failed in 2015, but area county officials and planners recently met with PennDOT to resurrect the idea and do another study through limit the scope of the time frame. Lackawanna County Economic Development Director George Kelly, the task force leader, sees potential in a merger, saying the three agencies could save $3 million a year, increase the service levels, routes, and reduce debt. But there are stumbling blocks. For one, Colts and LCTA are authorities, while Hazleton Public Transit is a city department. Ralph Sharp, Hazleton's Director of Public Transit, says it makes sense to see what a study might find and go from there. With the new year comes higher gas prices, along with higher Pennsylvania Turnpike toll rates. Starting on Sunday, the most common toll, a trip between two interchanges, will rise from $1.80 to $1.95, which is about 8.3%. This will be the ninth consecutive year the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission voted to raise rates. The reason for the annual toll hikes is to pay off existing toll turnpike bonds, upgrade its 550 miles of highway, and pay increasing pension costs and continue funding mass transit statewide. The state legislature formally opened today. Ceremonies began at noon. This two-year session finds the House with 121 Republicans and 82 Democrats. The Senate is comprised of 34 Republicans and 16 Democrats. In both cases, historic majorities for Republicans. Neither chamber is expected to get down to serious business for another couple of weeks. Governor Tom Wolf issued a statement following today's ceremony stating, quote, I would like to extend my congratulations to the members of the General Assembly being sworn in today. For those of you who are returning to the Capitol, I look forward to continuing our work work together to battle the opioid crisis, create good paying jobs, invest in education and make government more efficient and effective. I also look forward to working with new members for a fresh perspective on how we can make Pennsylvania a better place. Thank you for dedicating your talents. 
To the service of Pennsylvanians, together we can boister the middle class investment in our children's futures and make a government that works for the people, unquote. Two Luzerne County Council members say they will discuss banning teacher strikes with members of the state legislature. Pet teachers have had the right to strike since Act 195 of 1970, and the state has led the country in a number of teacher strikes virtually every year since, although numbers dropped after the adoption of Act 88. County Council's Legislative Committee plans a meeting with area legislators, and the topic will be on the agenda, says Committee Chair Harry Haas. There's no date for that meeting yet, but Kathy Dobash and Steve Urban say teacher strikes should be banned. Both say they're disruptive. Urban says that while public schools are out of council's purview, the county owns Luzerne County Community College and its faculty has the right to strike. That makes the topic relevant to council, says Urban, but both say binding arbitration is a better option than strikes. 37 other states banned teacher strikes and before 1970, Pennsylvania used to as well. Riverside near Danville is being sued. A police officer has filed suit claiming she was fired because of her gender. Jennifer Alexander was fired in September of 2015 and replaced by a male officer. She filed the suit in federal court. It seeks unspecified damages. Her suit alleges police chief Kerry Parks treated her differently than her male counterpart. Alexander says Parks constantly yelled at her, denied her requests for training, and failed to inform her of meetings. Parks tells the Press Enterprise he can't discuss pending litigation. The Pennsylvania Farm Show is coming. It opens Saturday, January 7th, and runs until next Saturday, January 14th. It's at the State Farm Show Complex and Expo Center in Harrisburg. It's open daily from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m., except the last day when it closes at 5 p.m. It's the largest farm show in the nation. There's lots of parking, but it's not free. It's 15 bucks a car. This will be the 101st Pennsylvania Farm Show. It's time now for a first look at our forecast. A wet, cold, and foggy day for our area. But what can we expect for the rest of the week? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe, I hear colder temperatures are headed our way. Yeah, we got so much colder temperatures heading in our direction. But I tell you what, enjoy this milder weather while it lasts because we have at least one more day where temperatures will be fairly decent for this time of year. But after that, some cold weather to talk about. I'll let you know how cold it's going to get coming up in a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, our Aaron Harvey has details on a new recycling contract for a local area. Plus, it's District Talk Tuesday, and today our Abby Piskel visited with students and faculty at the Hazel Township Early Learning Center. Find out what they're up to this year. More news, weather, and sports is coming your way here on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, video journalists Mike Lula and Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Gary Perna, Abby Piskel, and Aaron Harvey. Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and John Eric Poli, and weather with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. If you're looking for a good pre-owned vehicle, check out BLB Auto Sales for his tax time specials. Get the best return on your tax check. All the independable vehicles at affordable prices. BLB Auto Sales is a division of Barbush Automotive. Barbush Automotive for all your mechanical, diagnostic, alignment, inspections, and emissions needs. 24-hour towing, engines, and transmissions. Located on Route 940 in Harley, one call does it all. 570-454-7571. The Victoria story's a glorious story, the sweetest that's ever been told. They found they were handy at making fine candy for family and friends to behold. Word spread through the land that Victoria's candies would one day be leading the rest. Now that day is here, for the facts are quite clear that, that Victoria's candies are best. 
Residents of Klein Township will now be able to have their recycling picked up at their home. WYLN's Aaron Harvey has more. Garbage bins are being delivered to accounts in good standing. If you are a resident of Klein Township, you probably received a similar robocall that informs residents that they will be getting new garbage bins this week. With the start of the new year, the township has a new garbage hauler. They went with county waste management, and residents will now be able to put their recycling out on the curb. Up until now, residents had to take their recycling somewhere else if they decided they wanted to recycle. Chairman of the Board of Directors for Klein Township, Dale Wesner, says the garbage recycling contract is for five years and the rates will not be raised. The reason the, the township looked to go ahead and uh, uh, get a new hauler, first, our old contract was up. So we needed to go out and we re advertise for a new contract. With that, we looked and see what can we do to go ahead and save money. And we also reached out to the residents to see what they wanted. Years back, Klein Township did have a recycling program, and many people liked that. Uh, right now, they don't have a place to do it, and they have to drive a little ways to go and do recycling. So that's one of the things we did ask to go ahead and have, and uh, on the bid, the lowest bidder, and that was County Waste, and uh, they did go ahead and offer to have weekly recycling at the curbside for the residents. And also, with our garbage contract, we extended it. Normally, we go three years. We did this five years, and that's to go ahead and st stabilize our finances. And we asked for a reduced rate, and due to the competition this year, we were able to go ahead and get that. So that's a benefit to the township that's passed on to the residents, that uh, over the next five years, we should not have to raise rates and uh, we should be able to go ahead and have good service. Everyone who is in good standings will receive two bins this week. Uh, we have a garbage agent uh, for the township. That's our, actually our township secretary. And then she has a list of everyone that's in good standing. And good standing is anyone that, that has made their payments and is up to date. They will be provided both bins, one for recycling and one for garbage. And anyone that's not in good standings can go ahead and bring themselves up to good standings and they will get those issued too. It is a requirement of the township to go ahead and have everyone uh, to use the garbage containers bins. And the reason for that is, is it will help them to go ahead and aid for heavy bags that's leaking and stuff to go ahead and take out to the curb for easier use. It's also going to cut down on the roadside litter that's out there. We have a problem with bears and cats and dogs ripping up the garbage and they tear it up at night and then when the hauler comes he lifts up the bag and it bursts and there's litter left all over. Garbage pickup will remain on Fridays, and Westner does not want residents to keep the bins in front of their property long after the garbage is picked up. Garbage pickups will uh, be the same. It's Friday. Now, we go ahead and, and let people know. We understand that people work at night and stuff, so you can go ahead and put your garbage out uh, late afternoon on uh, Thursday, and then it will pick picked up Friday morning. And one thing that we are requiring is once the garbage is taken away by the hauler, that the bins come back off the curb. They are not to remain on the curb like some other municipalities, that they'll, they'll stay there. It's unsightly and we want them pulled back, uh, hopefully out of sight somewhere on the property owner's property. If anyone has any questions, you can call Klein Township at 570-929-2195. In Klein Township for W Island News, I'm Aaron Harvey. Thank you, Aaron. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with a full look at our forecast. Plus, we'll take a look at what students are up to at the Hazel Township Early Learning Center. All that and more, plus sports with John Eric Poli is coming your way here on WYLN News. Stay tuned. Discover MMI Preparatory School and you'll discover why so many families start their children in our middle school. Personalized attention and a track record of success. Join us at visitation night and then register for our entrance and merit scholarship exam. Log on to MMIPrep.org and listen to parents say why they chose MMI. I absolutely would recommend MMI to others. It's a great experience, an awesome education, and your kids will be happy.
Weatherwood is a privately owned 200 bed nursing and rehabilitation center in the quiet town of Weatherly, Pennsylvania. The rehab center offers the highest level of personalized care for your therapy experience. Whispering Meadows is a 50 bed secure dementia unit in our facility. Weatherwood also offers Medicare certified home health care services within the community, including therapies, skilled nursing, and certified nursing assistants. Whether you need short term, long term, or respite stay, call or stop by for a tour. 570-427-8683. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Amazing television, you gotta love it. You gotta love this weather too. I mean, temperature wise, you can't beat it for this time of year. It is uh, pretty nice, hopefully you're gotten a chance to enjoy these mild temperatures while they last because it's going to be short-lived heading into tomorrow it's going to be a little bit cooler but still upper 30s lower 40s not bad for this time of year but after tomorrow that's when some big changes are going to be occurring very big changes for january we're going to be struggling just to make it out of the 20s for daytime high temperatures but these temperatures right now you can't beat it for this time of year considering we're in january we're at 36 degrees, humidity at 100%, and we've picked up 35 hundredths of an inch of precipitation since the midnight hour. Wind's coming in about 5 or 10 miles per hour. So those warmer temperatures, the rain, has pretty much melted the snow and ice that we had across our area. We did get up to 36 degrees a little bit uh, before one o'clock this afternoon and the early morning low right at the midnight hour 33 so we stayed above freezing now we did see a pretty good wind gust coming in at about 30 miles per hour earlier this morning throughout the commonwealth of pennsylvania it is pretty nice there's some rain there's some showers there's some drizzle kind of damp and overcast but temperatures in every locations continuing to remain above freezing. Many areas in the 40s to near 50 degrees down in Philadelphia. How about those winds across our area? Well, not, not doing too bad, five, 10 or so miles per hour. But again, the big news is the mild weather that we have for this time of year, can't beat it. But there's gonna be some changes in the seven day forecast. Speaking of a seven day forecast, here is the Fairway Subaru seven day forecast. Fairway Subaru is proud to support Make-A-Wish Foundation of Greater Pennsylvania with a $250 Subaru donation in connection with the Share the Love event, helping to share even more love right here in our community. Right on through the 3rd of January, 37 for tomorrow, becoming partly sunny, and then it gets much colder. Look at Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday just downright cold across our area. We're only going to be in the 20s for daytime high temperatures, but take a look at some of those overnight lows. Boy, oh boy, we're going to be dropping down into the teens, possibly even in the single digits. We'll have more for you coming up after the break. The Victoria story's a glorious story, the sweetest that's ever been told. They found they were handy at making fine candy for family and friends to behold. Word spread through the land that Victoria's candies would one day be leading the rest. Now that day is here, for the facts are quite clear that, that Victoria's candies are best. It's time to find your copy of the Freeland Progress. Look inside for information on the Pennsylvania Dart Tournament and more. Freeland Progress is free at locations throughout Freeland, Whitehaven, Blakeslee, Berwick, Cunningham, Drums, and the Hazleton area. Electric Frog Designs, 323 North Hunter Highway, Route 309, Drums, offering full-color banners and signs, vehicle lettering and graphics, campaign signs, promotional products, trophies, plaques, and medals, 788-2333. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones.
Welcome back to WYLN News. I'm Abby Piskel, and on this week on District Talk Tuesday, we're at the Hazel Township Early Learning Center, where I'm going to be hearing all about different STEM activities that students are doing. So if you just want to talk to me a little bit about the program. Good morning, and welcome to our school. Um, in Here in first grade, we like to do a lot of STEM activities with the kids to kind of get their creative thinking going so they think outside the box and they don't just get used to answering like base level questions such as you know how many uh, pigs were in the story what color was the coat things like that so to try to think of more creative higher level thinking skills and uh, believe it or not at such a young age they can really do a good job with doing STEM activities. And what does STEM stand for? STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay, and those are some pretty big topics for such young children. Talk to me a little bit about different ways that they're learning things, different hands-on activities, workbooks, anything like that. Kids at this age are so curious anyway. They want hands-on activities. They love to try things out and design and create and, and see what works. So I tried to put their imaginations to work. Uh, for example, we just did a unit on gingerbread. So when they read the gingerbread man story and they were very upset when he got eaten by the fox, we read another story that had a different ending that he had a little home to live in forever. And I asked the children, what could he have done uh, other than jump on the fox's back? What else could he have done to cross the river? So as you'll see, the, they thought of some really creative ways to solve that problem. Uh, some said if he had his own boat, he could have crossed the river on his own. Others decided to build a bridge for him. And uh, the third group decided if he had a home, he could have run home and locked the door and been safe. So with those STEM activities, they designed their own creations. They, they drew them first. They were little architects. Then they played around with popsicle sticks and blocks and things, tried out different designs. And then you'll see their finished products. And how long have you been implementing these types of activities into the curriculum that you teach your students? I started right at the beginning of the year. Um, again, I feel like children learn so much more when they're actually engaged in their learning and they're hands-on rather than just reading about it or hearing about it. So we've been doing it with different fairy tales for the three little pigs. They designed their own house. They had to try to huff and puff and see if it withstood the test of blowing it down. So um, we've been starting right at the beginning and we'll go all the way through with different experiments and things throughout the year. And just being a teacher, how does this make you feel like being able to shape the minds of such young children? I'm very fortunate. I love what I do. I have wonderful students and they're just great. And they, they are so wonderful. I think we don't give them enough credit sometimes at a young age and to see what they can really come up with and use creative thinking. And I love to see that happen. Okay, well, these students are certainly very well behaved and they're learning so much. Stay tuned. More news is coming your way here on WYLN. If you're looking for a good pre-owned vehicle, check out BLB Auto Sales for his tax time specials. Get the best return on your tax check. All the independable vehicles at affordable prices. BLB Auto Sales is a division of Barbush Automotive. Barbush Automotive for all your mechanical, diagnostic, alignment, inspections, and emissions needs. 24-hour towing, engines, and transmissions. Located on Route 940 in Harley, one call does it all. 570-454-7571. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Zaner's Automotive Incorporated has been providing complete towing and wreckage recovery service. They also offer emergency truck and trailer repairs and roadside assistance. Located at 213 East Broad Street in Hazleton, call them at 570-454-0541. Every Tuesday, we bring you our WYLN High School Basketball Power Rankings, and today marks the first Power Rankings of the year 2017. We'll start in boys basketball. Number seven goes to the Blue Devils of Shenandoah Valley. Number six is Berwick, the Bulldogs following up on a great year last year with a perfect 6-0 record to start off this season. Manico comes in at the five spot. Williamsport drops to number four. Three and two go to two undefeated teams in Mahanoy area and Lee Heighton. And atop of the rankings is Hazleton area. The Cougars may only be four and two on the season, but that's impressive given their schedule. Hazleton owns wins over Parkland, Whitehall, Coughlin, and last week's number one team, Williamsport. 
Now to girls hoops. Blue Mountain cracks into the rankings at number seven. Number six goes to Marion Catholic. Valley West drops in the rankings to the five spot. Hazleton losing to Monotov this past weekend drops them down to four. Pittston area continuing to roll. They are a number three team. Number two goes to the undefeated Mahanoy area Lady Golden Bears. And our number one team goes to another undefeated team in Nanakoke. The Trojanettes said they wanted to be a good team and be back in the state playoffs. So far, they are not only talking the talk, but they are also walking the walk. Tonight, Nanakoke takes on Hanover, and we'll have highlights of that game on Late Edition Sports. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins are off to a great start this season, and when you're playing well, you get awarded. The AHL noticed the Pens' great play and handed some honors to the team. The AHL named Jake Getzel the AHL Player of the Month in December. In the month of December, Getzel had 11 goals and 6 assists in a 10-game period. Also, Coach Clark Donatelli was named head coach of the Atlantic Division for the 2017 AHL All-Star Classic presented by Capital Blue Cross. Donatelli was given the honor by leading the Penguins to the best record in the AHL over the first three months of the season. Also under Donatelli, the Pens have the top-ranked defense in the AHL. This was the fifth time in team history that a Pens coach was given this honor. Being honored must be a common trend with sports teams in Wilkes-Barre, as a member of the Wilkes University basketball team was honored by the Mid-Atlantic Conference. Sophomore guard Marcus Robinson was named to the Mid-Atlantic Conference Freedom Division Player of the Week for his role in the Mountain Union Tournament in Alliance, Ohio. Robinson averaged 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists a game in the tournament while scoring a game-high 28 points in the Colonel's consolation game upset victory over Hope University, who was ranked 15th in the country. And Villanova just keeps winning in men's basketball. They are once again the top-ranked team in the country, taking almost every vote in the rankings. The Wildcats are a perfect 14-0 this season, and they knocked off number 10 Creighton this past Saturday. That's a wrap on sports. Up next, Joe Garbachik is back with another look at our forecast. Discover MMI Preparatory School and you'll discover why so many families start their children in our middle school. Personalized attention and a track record of success. Join us at visitation night and then register for our entrance and merit scholarship exam. Log on to MMIPrep.org and listen to parents say why they chose MMI. I absolutely would recommend MMI to others. It's a great experience, an awesome education, and your kids will be happy. John's Family Restaurant in the Churchill Mall. Enjoy a full menu with all homemade food from breakfast, soups, sandwiches, entrees, and desserts. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner specials. The food is great, the price is right. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Sunday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. When you need used auto parts, call Bonner Enterprises. They also take your junk cars and trucks, offering competitive prices. They also deliver anti-skid shale and clay. Located at 410 Maplewood Drive in the Humboldt Industrial Park, call them at 570-384-3291. Well, we still have upper 30s for tomorrow. Some areas will be in the lower 40s. That's still pretty nice for this time of year. But then after that, some very cold weather to talk about as we go into the ending part of the weekend. Weekend, we're all going to be looking at 20s, nighttime lows dropping down into the teens. Maybe some single digits as well. Yeah, how about it? There it is, the cold temperature. You said well, it was coming after yeah, the new year. Yeah, we had to wait, but that's all right. January already. Yeah. So maybe the rest of winter will go fast and we Definitely. can all look towards spring and our fingers can be crossed. But um, yeah. hey, as a Keep Penn State our... alumni, you have to admit, Lions did pretty good last night. Despite, no, it's okay. Next, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all I got for you. That was nice for them to see the Rose Bowl, so yeah. they deserved it. It was, it was. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>